Hello, viewers. I'm Julie Potter, and I'm the program manager for YBCAU. And in preparation for the new Filipino Cinema Festival, we thought we'd share with you some tips on just how to do a film festival. In this day of Hulu and Netflix, you binge watchers out there are particularly prime to enjoy hours of cinema in a dark screening room. So be sure to check the schedule and make your plan of attack. Here's Joel with your primer. Hi, everyone. Sometimes great art takes a while, so here are some tips. Disconnect. You may even consider changing your voicemail while you go offline and get transported. Stretch your legs to avoid deep vein thrombosis, just like on a long haul flight. You'll want to move a bit. Hydrate in moderation. Drink plenty of water, but not too much. Dehydration and your bladder are the twin nemeses of the binge watcher. Wear comfortable clothes, sweatpants and snuggies, and the art museum most welcome. Body awareness. Notice the connections between what is happening on screen and in your own physical body. Presence and patience. Notice what elements of the film grab your attention and remember that it's okay to space out, to think about other things. What are you bringing into the screening room? Your day? Your energy levels? How do these things affect your experience as an audience member? Enjoy the experience of cinema in a theater. Seeing a film can simply be people sharing a space and moment in time. I hope you enjoy this afternoon of great art, Filipino culture, and community. On June 21st, it's a Saturday, you're invited to join our Director of Community Engagement, Joelle Tan, and the U Crew for a group binge watch of the four-hour masterpiece, Norte, The End of History, by sort of the godfather of the Philippine new wave, Lav Diaz. So grab some Filipino snacks in the Youth Arts Lounge and then park up in the back row where you can stretch your legs during this epic work. Mabuhay kaibigan at familia. Since Norte is in Tagalog, I want to share something with the Tagalog impaired and one that with Tagalog, you will likely hear lots of English, lots of Spanish, and lots of Malay languages. So listen for it and think about what that means. Secondly, um, between the spoken Tagalog and the subtitles you'll see, you will likely hear um, off cue lots of laughing from those of us who do speak Tagalog or booing or hissing or whatever it is that we're doing that responds to the film. Take note of that as well. 